Hi, I'm Jason with MTech. We built the QTAC Fire and Rescue Apparatus, and we are building a Type 6 demo truck on an F550 chassis. It's a diesel 4x4 crew cab 60CA. And we're gonna show you the whole process from building the polytuff body all the way up through lighting, bumper mods, all the accessories that go with it, take you along for the ride and show you how we do it. We're MTech, builders of QTAC Fire and Rescue Apparatus. Follow along as we document the construction of our Type 6 demo truck build. We chose the Ford F-550 for several reasons. One is we have a great relationship with Rhonda Pratt Ford out of Dixon, California. They've helped us to, to source this chassis. Also, at least with our customer base, we seem to get more uh, requests for the F-550 than we do for the 5500 Dodge. We've worked with both chassis, the Dodge, we've actually worked with the Chevy 5500s, the new ones, and the Ford F-550. Each chassis seems to have its own positives and negatives. Uh, this is the stock wheel and tire setup on the F-550. We are gonna be outfitting it with Buck Stop Super Singles Kit. The Buck Stop Kit comes with a three inch lift, aftermarket wheels and 41 inch tires, the Continental tires. We're also putting the aftermarket front bumper on. In the, some of the builds that we've done, we found there's a huge advantage to it. If you're doing a wildland application, you're gonna be off-roading in the truck. Along with it looking great and really making the truck look more aggressive, there's great advantages in terms of being able to go off-road with more sidewall on the tire, not having rocks stuck in your duels. You have fewer tires to maintain. They are expensive tires and they don't last that long and that's one of the disadvantages. A lot of our customers actually purchase the chassis on their own. And what we found over the years is that it's very important for us to work with the customer on the spec because there's a lot of options available on these chassis that if you don't order the right, the right options and get the right specs, it's almost impossible to build up the truck correctly. One of the things that you really need to take a look at on these trucks, the GVWR is set on these. It's gonna be 19,500 pounds on the Ford F550. However, the gross axle rating, the GAWR, is very critical on this truck. Ford, you can actually get the Ford F550 with a 6,500 pound GAWR, the front axle being only rated to 6,500 pounds. Well, if you start throwing on a, a steel front bumper, a monitor, bumper sweeps, dis front discharges and hose lays, you're gonna max that front end out after you put water on the truck. So it's real important as you spec out the truck, make sure that you get a package, whether it's the, the heavy duty front end suspension or uh, the ambulance package comes with it, I believe, and also the fire rescue package, where it takes the 6,500 pound front end and it sets it to either 7,000 or 7,500 pounds. Now you have some margin to, to work with as you build up the truck in terms of weight. When you're looking at chassis specs, uh, you're gonna see a lot of different numbers, but some of the big ones are wheelbase, so center line of the front axle to center line of the rear axle. But you also see cab to axle or CA, rearmost point of the uh, cab to the center line of the rear axle. A 60 CA is going to be pretty standard on a wildland truck. An 84 CA, you'll still see that, um, but oftentimes we'll build those into rescue trucks. The shorter the truck in an off-road situation, the better off you're going to be. Uh, less chance to high center. For our needs, the crew cab was important. Uh, we're already talking to departments who are interested in this truck, and we haven't even started it yet. But they're going out on strike teams. They've got multiple people in the cab, and they need the, the extra room of the crew cab. Front seat configuration, back seat configuration, making sure that you've thought through and planned out what do you want your front console to look like? Are you carrying four, five, or six people? The center seat becomes the console, which is what we're gonna have happen on this truck. So give lots of thought up front to how I want my console configured, how I want my seat layout to be configured. That way, you're not having to fight that later on in the build. It'll be a four-point mount. It's powder-coated, uh, so you're, gonna, you're not going to have any rust issues on the steel. And then we have a, a rubber layer on top, a high-density rubber that just keeps some of the, the vibration and, and the wear from... It's noisy in here. It's almost like we're in a working shop. It just means that the, the frame is, will, is able to move independently of the frame of the chassis just a little bit. It's just enough to make sure that when you get into a a jounce situation or you're off-road and you're dropping a tire into a hole that you don't get really rigid, that the frame doesn't stay rigid with the subframe and then create issues. <laughs> 